Hey friends, have you seen this yet? Take a look at this screen. The fine folks at Audacity put this out recently, and actually it was last week, and I want to talk about it a little bit. That's one of the things we're going to talk about today on Learn Audacity. Hey, as we get started here today, let me give you just a brief update on what's going on with me. We've been moving. We've been in the process of relocating now for a couple of months, which is why you haven't seen much of me. I actually had all of my audio and video gear packed away, and I've just recently unpacked most of it. Not all of it. Some of it I can't find. But I've unpacked enough to be able to start recording podcasts and videos again, which is what we're doing today. We're in a temporary location, and we won't be in our permanent location for another 10 months or so. So I'm in kind of a makeshift room here. The green screen came in yesterday, and so I'm able to start recording with it. This room is, is far from ideal, but it'll get us by for the next 10 months or so until our new place is ready for us to move in. And in that house, I have a dedicated room to do videos and podcasts. So we'll get back to normal eventually. But right now, today, we're in this makeshift uh, room, and I think it's going to suit us okay. And so I'm going to start making some videos again here. Now that I've got my equipment unpacked, or at least part of it unpacked, the part that I need. But also, while all of that was going on, I've kind of moved everything under the banner of Learn Audacity. My website is learnaudacity.com, and I've kind of moved everything over into that because it seems to be a little bit more descriptive of what I'm doing. And let's face it, even when I venture off into other things, I always come back to Audacity because I enjoy it so much. It's so easy to use. It's so intuitive. And so I'm always jumping back into it. Hey, but look at this screen that I've got open here. What do you think of this screenshot? Again, this is just a screenshot of maybe a proposed future look for Audacity. I don't think Audacity is going to look just like this at any point. This is something that, uh, that I saw on Twitter about a week or 10 days ago, and it was just kind of thrown out there as, you know, maybe one possibility. Again, who knows? I'm sure when the next version of Audacity comes out, it's probably not going to look a lot, a lot like this image, but... I wanted to talk about this image because I, th I think it's kind of cool. So let's kind of zoom in here and take a closer look at this image and see if we can't take it apart. The first thing I notice is up here on the left, on the left upper side of the uh, left upper corner of the image, in the transport toolbar, there's no pause button. Now, I've never used the pause button. I don't know, maybe you have, but I never have used the pause button. So it wasn't a big deal to me, but I did notice that it's missing. But as we move down the left side of the track, you can see that the, it looks like what is the microphone inputs now is, is embedded in the header of the track. I kind of like that, if that's what that is. I think that's a good idea. You can see that we've got the volume control in the track header now. You've got a balance, what looks like a balance knob. And again, this, this isn't something that's in production or that is necessarily going to be produced. This is just something they were talking about, and the fine folks at Audacity kind of threw it out there to share it with us so that we could see what's going on kind of behind the scenes with them. You'll also see that in the track header, we still have the mute and solo buttons, and we have an add effects button. Now, that's a big difference. That's a big change right there. If this is going in the direction, which I know it is at some point, I don't know at what point it's going to actually be there, but if this is going in the direction of being able to add non-destructive effects to our to our waveforms and to have a record there of what's on the waveform currently, this is a great idea because right now, if you put an effect on a waveform or on a track, you don't know what you've put on that track unless you've made a record of it, unless you're copying it down somewhere to keep track of what you're putting on the track. You just don't know. So if this is going in the direction of being able to add an effect and then go back later and see what effects are on that track, that is great. That is exactly the direction I think that we need to go. And then you can see there's a record button on the track. There's also a record button up in the header. So I'm thinking maybe if there's going to be a record button on the track, it, it might just be to arm that track to record. I don't know. Again, this isn't reality yet. I just, I think it's kind of, uh, it shows us what they're thinking and kind of the direction that they're going. So I wanted to present it to you and share it with you in case you haven't seen it. Now you can see there in the track header too, we have a drop down window for different inputs. So it's more compact. It just looks better in my opinion. It looks cleaner. It looks a little bit healthier. It looks a little bit more like we're going to have more control over it. And we're going to be able to see the effects and so forth that we're putting on a track. Even after we save it and we come back to the project. You can see up in the top in the middle, we can still zoom in and out of the track. 
There is also what appears to be a position timer of where the record playhead might be at any moment in time. And then there's a little metronome thing next to a little metronome icon next to that. And then the slider next to that, I'm not sure what that is. I think maybe it's a volume button, you know, for playback, but again, I'm not sure. You'll see that over on the far right, there's a audio setup button. I'm not sure what would be behind there if this ever comes to fruition. And then there's an undo button and a settings gear. And then you'll notice down the bottom right, we still have the selection toolbar. We have a thing called workspace now, which this says audio editing. I don't know what the other options would be there. Maybe a spectrogram view or something like that. I don't know what else is behind that little button. But I thought this was an interesting snapshot. This is an interesting screenshot of kind of some of the stuff that's being uh, thought through, being worked on possibly for a future version of Audacity. I will put in the description of this video a link to this image so that you can go see it. You can pull it up for yourself and just spend some time looking at it and see what you think. Another conversation that I've been seeing Audacity have on different social media platforms concerns the Microsoft App Store. Now, I don't have a Windows computer. I'm on a Mac. I haven't been on Windows in years, so I don't go to the Microsoft App Store. But evidently, in the Microsoft App Store, there's been different versions of Audacity available, and most of them, or some of them at least, are people are charging for them. And so Audacity went in there and cleaned that up. You can see they've got a green check by theirs now saying that it's, it's the real thing. It's, it's free. It's always free. But they went in and cleaned that up so that you know when you're going to the uh, App Store in Microsoft, if that's how you're going to download Audacity, that you're getting the real thing. But remember, you can also go to audacityteam.org and download your copy, whatever platform you're running, whether it's a Windows or a Mac or Linux, all three of those are available at audacityteam.org as well. And then another window here that I wanted to bring to your attention, and again, I'll have links to all three of these windows in the description of this video so that you can get to them easily. This is the Audacity 3.2 Labels and Milestones. Right now I've got milestones highlighted, and you can kind of see the progress here of what's going on with the future builds of Audacity. This is a good site to go to because it gives you a lot of uh, different information. If we take a look at labels, we can see another view here and you can see what's being worked on and the progress that's being made on the next version. So I'll have a link to this in the description below as well for your viewing pleasure. Hey, thanks a lot for joining me on this video. It's good to be back. I'll be putting out more videos now that I have my stuff unpacked, now that I have a green screen to kind of hide what's really behind me. And uh, I'll get back to putting out some more videos concerning Audacity and we'll forge ahead. But remember, you can find me at LearnAudacity.com, LearnAudacity.com. And when you get there, you'll find links to different videos, a lot of videos there. Actually, they're all here on YouTube as well. But all of my videos are linked there. And there's links to my three courses. I teach a podcast course called Audacity Bootcamp, Beginner to Advanced. You'll find links to it there. I teach a second Audacity course for ACX audiobook narrators. It's called ACX Audiobook Production Using Audacity. A third course that I teach there is called Zoom H6 Audio Recording Essentials. While it has nothing directly to do with Audacity, it does have to do with recording good audio. All of my audio that I record, this audio that I'm recording right here, actually is recording into my Zoom H6, if I can get this up here and show it to you. My little Zoom H6 recorder is right here, and this is what I record all of my audio in, and then I sync my audio to my videos using Camtasia. But the Zoom products I've found are very high quality in producing audio, and of course it makes a difference what mic you're using as well, as well as the environment that you're recording in. So those are my three courses, Audacity Bootcamp, Beginner to Advanced, ACX Audiobook Production using Audacity and Zoom H6 Audio Recording Essentials. So thanks again for joining me, and until next time, take care.